becomes a killer. Back to this one? Back to uh Strange has for garbage and garbage cans. has a, a clitoris. No. Kind of a little painful to get in there, but it has an interesting little clitoris. Makes you want to have an erection. Look in there. When I was a kid, I used to just walk on the on the cracks on the sidewalk, you know, if you get into the into the uh, the hard areas, uh, you've lost it. So you have to walk on the cracks, you know, to balance. I mean, to balance on things was the thing to be, you know. If you could walk in a straight line and not come off the crack, you were you were making it, you know. You were the one of the crowd. As soon as you walk on the on the main block, you just uh, well. Your head just gets lost in a mist. Oh, more garbage. just can't stand this trash it just comes right at you and just eats you up you can always fall in and kill yourself in trash it's rash isn't it like the ash in your soul it's trash is rash in your ash and your ashed out soul I mean what is it what is it about this place There's a rash of ash in the ass. There's a rash of ass in your ass. There's a rash of ass in your asshole. between one building and another building. 
I'm sitting on an edge between this guy and that guy. I'm sitting on this edge where, where I can hear traffic from one side of my brain and traffic from the other side of my brain. I'm sitting here looking at a person crossing over from one side, my brain, to the other. I'm sitting on the edge. I'm sitting on the edge. My boats are all in front of me, waiting to be towed and put across. There's shit in the channel. The cars just hang there loose, moored up against the buildings. It's neat. It's too damn neat. It's funny, but it's just too damn neat how everything just gets tied up and, up and screwed up and stuck up and it's just too damn neat. Here. I'm looking for. This is where all dogs go to die. There's a sign that says no standing, it's fallen down. On this other side of my brain, there are various people here walking on this other side of my brain. There are various doorways that one could walk into full of strange symbols. my mother left me. She willed them to me and I, she left them in my, in the big house on the hill. The Wheel of Fortune, double there, paper clubs and regal dolls and crosswords. She left them to me, wasting away. Father left me all these cars here. Some larger than others. He left me all these cars. He gave me a little car set, a little toy set, and uh, he said, drive this. He built me a castle. He said, Bill, live in this. He told me which way to say things, how to walk the line and how not to uh, cross it. He was a policeman. My mother was a nurse. It was all very predictable was branches and services. Let me call him up. Um, hello? Mom, how are you doing? And she always says, please dial again. Thank you. And she always says, please dial again. Thank you.
a bang. Crush. Toys. All sorts of crazy wallop bang. Wop. Shoot. Change. Piss. Fuck. Shit. Okay. <laughs> Cross Animal Excrement Sliding in the excrement Up out of it Here Taking everything out Everything ain't quite correct. Someone's saying impairment of judgment is part of the world. We have to be impaired to judge the world. Are we purchasing impairments? There's always got to be something wrong with the machine. Otherwise, it doesn't work. We've got to buy things. So the machine doesn't work. So the machine doesn't work. So the machine doesn't work. Maybe you should smell right. So we can smell wrong. You have to pay 99 cents, not a dollar. See what I mean? We've got to be so happy, we've got to be horrific. Checking out. Everyone's just checking it out. Checking out the feet. Checking out the and you can tell it gets really sweaty in New York. So goddamn sweaty. I'm just talking about stuff. Every city in the world has these. Every place you go. Every kind of person goes for these kinds of things in every city in the world. This is what they call civilization. This is where the West has got us. Wow, look at this one. This is what this is what I need. who everyone wants to be with all those junk items. King of Kings. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. This is where you exchange one jewelry for another piece of jewelry. We can't promise you wine, we cannot promise you women, we can promise you life. All the cars, all the snakes. This is the Garden Eden, even, even. 
Baby, baby, baby. I must buy something for my baby. Let's get it right. Let's get those things right. Let's go there. Let's take it all. Let's 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 just live it. Let's live it to the full. Let's be read about everything. Let's get read. Let's get bloody read about things. Let's get into the heart from the blood of deceiving. something about uh, personality in how cameras held it exudes out of how it's handled how it's like a a bottle full of fluid, ready to be drunk. How it's a tape ready to be swallowed. In the bottle, in the camera, it's clear, unused. But once it's focused, It reaches an orifice, an eye, and it becomes more than just a transparent liquid. She holds the camera. She has a light flashing off and on. Four fingers and a light flashing off and on. She is up against the pillar. Society, building the establishment. 
she's up against the pillar. I am the free agent in the space. Everything is kind of decided in the space. She places herself as a pillar. She moves herself to hold up the building, society, the plot of the story. She has her feet on the floor of a stairway. There is ventilation. But she is this pillar. She is this drinking person, swallowing what is here in this floor. She is here. She is pushing down at me, but she's up there. She is what is holding up the building. And all that Shakespeare would say is, we are the players on a stage, a stage of life. We are like soldiers at a parade, walking back and forth. Soldiers guarding the palace. Soldiers well tuned to this perspective of life. We walk between the pillars, the pillars of the camera, the pillars of the bottle, the pillars that the mother suckled us, the milk, the white of the walls. Art galleries are full of white walls, full of the milk that the mother gave us. We walk back and forth in this world. We take a car, we drive it across the land, across this land. We hold the power in our hands. We hold it in our hands, but we don't know what to do with it. We are in the stairway. Is this Jacob's ladder? Is this the stairway to heaven? This walk, this walk back and forth. How much do we get out of the stairway? How much do we break out of it? How much do we jump over the ledge. What is there to be seen on the other side? Is it more than what is in the gallery? How much more is there than the gallery that we walk in, the stairs that we climb here, here? sit and pray that this life is of great meaning, that what we are doing is right and perfect and absolute. We sit here and pray, pray that it is perfect, that it is white as the walls, white as the milk that succulates ourselves. And then we say no. We want to walk out. We want to hear the slam of the door. We want to crush ourselves against the green of the meadow. We want to be 
drinking the bottle. We want to be holding the camera. We want to be beholders of this, this way of seeing, this sense of knowing ourselves. We have to be here in this knowing of ourselves, this perspective of ourselves, this importance of ourselves. We want to create a world that is not just here in the stairway, but beyond ourselves. We want to be here. We want to give a gift or make a gift or be a gift beyond ourselves to look at ourselves. We need a mirror. How much we want that mirror. But the mirror is a mirror is a mirror. And you can only taste it by kissing it, by being within the mirror. Not, and knowing it. Not that it should be a piece of air. Running, pumping itself like a heart. glass, the city beyond the glass, beyond the focus, behind the gaze, the city inhabited by the machine, the symmetry, the shape, the pair, the feminine, the creativity, the city beyond the focus, the anal anal the ana the analysis, the analysis, the analyze, the analyzation, the annihilation, the annihilation. The city beyond the annihilation of of the stairway. The city here, the out of focus city, where the brain has not understood, where the brain has not extended itself, where the brain has not broken out of. The room beyond the measured steps the room in which we have difficulty treading into, where the tiles on the floor are clear, are unmeasured, are, and we find ourselves broken off, and it's difficult to comprehend, but here, across like a mouse on a screen uncontrollably we bang from wall to wall we are here a black cat running down a black cat running down a hallway a piece of luck, because we depend on luck, we depend on something that we cannot handle. A piece of luck breaking down a hallway, back and forth, back and forth, like a boomerang. A ball caught up in a pinball machine. Something bing, bang, bing, bang, bing, bang. That is where we have to be. We have to walk across, through the door, from the stairway, a red door, through into this space where we bing, bang, bing, bang, bing, bang across the wall, white wall, white wall, the green sky, white wall, white wall, white wall, where we don't know the perspective, where we don't know 
what is ourselves, where we are talking, what we are saying, who we are. This is the territory that we walk on, that we have to walk on. These pillars, these organizations, these elements of surprise, of not knowing what is behind corners, what holds it up, what things are to be broken, what people to live. In this, we are at our highest point of who we are, where we are going. It's these points where things are daisy, where things aren't quite what we think they are. It is here that we are the supreme. We must be. This is the space we walk up. The language. The language daunts us. On TV, the church, the religions, the economics give us big words and they destroy the intrinsic qualities of this space, this space where we will bear fruit in centuries to come. Bear fruit in centuries to come. It's a sarcastic way of saying something, bear fruit, old language, the Bible. Let's toss those things aside, those concepts aside. We are in difficult territory here. Language means something but doesn't mean anything. Red doors mean red doors, white walls mean white walls. But there again, it is just a grid. A grid to experiment ourselves experiment, to get rid of boundaries, to get rid of ways of saying, ways of being, to accept and be accepted. Everything is set up. Everything is put together for a reason. Everything is set up. Set up. In the uh, living room, there's a set T where one sits. There's a TV which one watches. Everything is set up around us. There are bricks, there are pillars, there are windows. They all relate. They all cross over. Everything is a setup. I am a setup. This space is a setup. What you're watching is a setup. The difficulties of deciding what to say and what not to say is a setup. What then is creativity? What then is creativity? What then is what happens to you as you look at this? What is it? When I stand by the ocean, 
and watch the water go up and down and the clouds hover across the horizon. I find myself using words that have meaning, a set-up meaning. I find myself using words that mean more than, more than themselves and also mean less than themselves. I feel as if I am walking into a set-up environment. It's hard to be romantic about anything anymore. It's hard to be really romantic about anything anymore. It's hard to be really honest or truthful about anything anymore because it's all a setup. Everything is decided by where the tripod is, where the camera sits, where you sit. Everything is information, and information in itself, information in itself is difficult to really comprehend, to take out of its seat, out of its academic seat, out of its scholastic seat, out of its scientific seat, out of its moralistic seat. Information has become the God. Information has become the God that we sit in front of, that we want, without any need, any want, any feeling for which, for what, for whom, for the individual to decide, for the I to decide desire, decide, for the me to decide, for the you to decide, for the us to decide, desire, want. Information is claps, ovations, running jokes, walks in the sun. Information is nothing and everything. And we are left here in a space of girders, of bricks, of pillars, of windows, sense of security here in this land of information where everything is cluttered like boxes in an attic. There is a sense of feeling good, of being godly, being at one, being a striped, being uh, registered, being legal, being gated, being on the right passage, being there. But what does it mean? I see myself in something that is decided, a no-go area between a barricade and the open sea on a beach. We go to the beach, we go to the beach to, to relax, to lie against the sun, to do nothing to zone out. But perhaps it's harder and harder to do that 
because we have so many other beaches to lay out on and do nothing, to be apathy, to be ants, to follow routes across the floor, routes across the land. listen for the sound of keys, to listen to the sound of vents that give us air, and that's all. So, that's all. strike up a romantic pose. The pose will do. The information will be gathered, projected, prayed to, possessed. But the meaning of it, where does it go? the meaning of it, the thinking, the tick-tock of the brain, where does it go?